Okay, and I've been asked to show a couple of large pieces of um, yardage to be folded onto the, I use magazine boards because they're a little bit larger than the comic boards, so I use them for most of my folds. Uh, they are, I believe, eight and a half by 11. Yes, they are eight and a half by 11, so that little bit larger than the comic fold does make a difference. And as you can see, I get through this even with talking and doing a couple of other things fairly quickly. I still have about 200 pieces to fold. And so I come in here and slip in and do a few whenever I can. All right, larger folds. This is a fairly hefty piece of fabric. I'm going to guess it's one, two, three, probably close to four yards. Yes, it's at least four yards. It might be a little larger. The first thing I do, as I've already done, actually, yeah, this is probably five yards because there are four folds. In any case, I fold everything so that it's in half and in half again to start it. At that point, I can see what I've got and I can work onwards. I always make sure that for me, my fold is, since I'm working to the right, my folds are nice and even and lined up on the right hand side, selvages go to the left. So now I folded this piece in half and in half again. That was for my prior folding system. And I'm just moving on whenever I can using those same folds. It just, I have so much fabric. I think we're talking somewhere in the vicinity of a, a 1,500 to 2,000 yards of pieces that I have to get through. And I discovered in playing with these how to fold it so that I didn't have a lot. I didn't want any clips. I want, I never want clips or anything metal on my fabric. I've had bad results in the past. I don't want to do it. Okay, anyway. I make sure that I bring it up to the top, raw edges at the top, my nice fold at the bottom. This piece winds up being, just to give you an idea, it is 45 inches long. Well, 45 inches long, I know is not gonna fold evenly on the 11 inch board. So I'm gonna bring the bottom up probably close to, well, you probably want more than just close here, two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14 inches first shot, folding up the bottom. Then I'm going to lay my comic board as I have on all of my other videos. Let me see if I can adjust this a little better. And hopefully it won't fall over, which sometimes it does. Um, I put the comic board right along the edge. I fold down the top so that, again, still trying to even this one out. Obviously, when I folded it originally, I didn't get it all perfect on the edge so that it doesn't come beyond the edge of the first fold of the comic board. So I bring it down to near the edge, fold it nice and smooth. I don't want wrinkles. I want everything to be smooth so that when I go to use the fabric, I have minimal pressing that I need to do. And I fold up the bottom again so that it's all nice and lined up. And I hold it nice and snug, smooth everything out. Pick it up here and I fold it back over on itself. Snug it tight smooth again. I'm going to go through about, there are, as you can see, there are one, two, three, four folds here, plus the fold over portion. I'm going to go through the first two. I'm going to pick this up right in the center and push it in. Flip my board around and smoothly work it into the corners. If you pull it from the center, what that does is it makes the piece, the fold down portion, arrow shaped. 
so that when you push it in smoothly, as you can see, that's pretty darn smooth. There are no wrinkles anywhere. And if it gets dropped, it doesn't fall apart. You might need to gently tuck it back in a little bit, but when you're carrying a stack of fabric, not so bad for five yards, huh? And it's thin enough that you can stack. Here are some of my one plus yard pieces that I put together. I always rotate them around and that's how they'll look on my shelf. Well, ladies, I hope that helps. If you want, I will send pictures, step-by-step -step photos, and post those online for you too. Just let me know what you want. Thank you. Bye.